The following is a paid segment sponsored by Railside Furnishings. Well, today I'm in Mifflinburg visiting our old friends here at Railside Furnishings. Uh, they make top quality furniture out of Pennsylvania hardwoods. Uh, if you can design it, draw it, they can make it. Let's go and meet Bradley, who's going to tell us what's new. Hello, Bradley. Lovely to see you again. Great to have you here. I love being surrounded by all this sort of native hardwood furniture. So, what have you got for us today? Here at Railside Furnishings, we're known for well-crafted, um, solid, real wood furniture. But today we want to take a look at one unique style of furniture that we build here. Um, in fact, it's a shop favorite around here, and that is our live edge tables. Well, Bradley, the first step, I imagine, is to choose the wood, and that's your job, yeah? Yes, so we have this slab rack right here in the showroom where customers can come to choose their wood species, um, the size of the slab. And some amazing shapes, I have to say. You, look at this one. Look at this void in the middle. And uh, give us an idea of what kind of woods people can choose. Yes, so many different wood species available. Here we have an English walnut. Um, we have maple, white oak. Here we have a black walnut. A very popular one. We also have ash, elm, cherry, pretty much any North American hardwood. So when you choose the pieces of wood, what are you actually looking for? One thing we pay special attention to here at Railside Furnishings in our selection of live edge slabs is the drying process as well as the thickness of the slab. Um, if a slab has not been properly kiln dried, it can warp and crack. One thing a lot of people become frustrated with in online buying or maybe a DIY project is that after time they find that their slab maybe develops a crack or warps. Um, that can be due to humidity changes. Our process and individual testing of each slab ensures that your live edge piece will last a lifetime. So Bradley, when you've helped the customer choose the right type of wood, whether it's oak or walnut, the right kind of size or the interesting spaces, voids, what do we do now? So the next step is heading to the shop to see how it's done. All right, let's do it. I'm looking forward to this. So the next step after a slab has been chosen is filling any voids. Um, on some slabs, it's gonna be maybe a big river going down the middle. It might just be a few knot holes like we see in this one. Um, and other slabs might not require any epoxy. And what color are you gonna choose for this? On this one, we are planning to pour like a deep navy blue with a metallic swirl to it. All right, we need the epoxy guy now, yeah? So Bradley, after the epoxy is cured, what happens next? So yes, after the epoxy has been fully cured, everything's hardened up well, um, the next step is going to be to run it through the wide belt sander. After that, we'll cut the table to size. Then after the table has been cut to size, we'll go over it with a final sand and that will be done by hand and just a final inspection to make sure that everything is perfect. So the next step after the table has been cut to size, perfectly sanding, um, we'll flip it over and get it prepared for the base. Um, now there's lots of different base options. This one that we have here is a steel base that's been powder coated. Um, the options would be a wooden base, uh, sometimes cast aluminum, so many different options with the base. Notice that when we fasten our bases, we do not just use a wood screw um, and screw it to the bottom. We use these special inserts that allows the table to be taken apart easily, put back together without it becoming loose or wobbly. That's fantastic, very clever. The final stage is going to be putting a smooth, durable varnish on this table. Bradley, I, when, when it's finished, it's just so smooth. And I have to say, look at this. Look at that, how that swirled. This, this was a gaping hole. There's a knot here. It's all filled in, yet it all feels amazingly smooth. We coat our tables with a very durable, um, water-resistant, stain-resistant finish. This coating is 100% maintenance free and is sure to preserve the natural beauty in your table, even with everyday use. I have to say, absolutely beautiful, but uh, if a customer needs to get an idea of what they look like when they're finished, 
Your showroom is full of all kinds of wonderful examples of live edge tables. Yes, we have lots available already finished for customers to choose from. Let's go out and have a look. Bradley, that was absolutely eye-opening. It's been an absolute pleasure to visit. Thank you very much. It was great to have you here and show you the process of building a live edge table. Wait, Bradley, did you tell them about everything else we have here in the showroom? Did you, Bradley? The Railside Furnishing showroom is loaded with so many different styles of home furnishings. We have hardwood bedroom sets, living room furniture, extension dining tables, office furniture, outdoor, you name it. We also do quite a bit of custom cabinetry, like built-in wall units, entryway organization, bathroom vanities, and also custom kitchen cabinets. With our custom wood shop, we can take your ideas all the way from designing and creating drawings to installation, and would love to have you come visit the showroom. Our address is 1520 Beaver Run Road, Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania, and we also have a website, so visit us at railsidefurnishings.com. We are here to help bring your dreams to reality. This has been a paid segment sponsored by Railside Furnishings.